gates of the house. You let yourself in because there's not a footman on duty all the time. And, Wait, uh, they, were, they weren't ready for the fairy invasion? They were not. The house is dark and quiet. Damn it, they um, were meant to be killed. Maybe they, we reset that and they all went back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, the three rounds of thunder did not happen. So True. They did not. Although Blanca saw it happen. Lightning. Yeah. Lightning happened. Lightning happened. Yes. Lightning happened. But one stroke. It's a little different. Some boom, boom. You know. Mm-hmm. Or boom. I do feel a lot better. I'm kind of hungry. Whoa. Oh. We need Let's to take care of that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Shepherd's pie. <laughs> Let's go, let's go into the servant's entrance into the kitchen. You make your way to the servant's kitchen and raid the pantry. <laughs> the uh, One of the kitchen, actually it's cook, shows up and she just wants to shower you with food and whatever else you need comforts and make hot chocolate for you and uh, that's what gives her pleasure in life is feeding others i give that woman a hug and oh, eat dearie. her food thank you you are so it's, it's so nice seeing highborn people associating with us lowly folk oh far from but highborn you, do you have a creme brulee for chance <gasps> please I do. Everything they don't eat upstairs, we have down here. Grab a chair around the uh, common table in the kitchen and wait. She brings out creme brulee, cake, melons, cheeses, um, pate, uh, a mixture of Food from the common folk and food from the rich folk. It's quite a smorgasbord of leftovers that she mm. places on the table before you. Leftovers are my favorite. While we pick at the food and Blanca really just pokes at it. Because she's really hungry. I, I sternly <laughs> look to her and say, you need to eat. This was a very taxing adventure. You need to eat. Just, Don't let just her go over 99 pounds. If something two terrible will two happen. more <laughs> scoops or something. At least finish the creme brulee. Or I'm going to just eat it right out of that bowl. I will eat the creme brulee to the bottom. But during the meal, go into full detail about my conversation with Merlin, his retelling of our events. Just remind us of what could have been and what was. And I think... Maybe even get a little bit emotional at the end, realizing that we just sidestepped an awful moment. I think the important thing to remember is that in either reality, I am a hero. You know, why didn't you just leave that out, Blanca? Just leave out the part where Bjorn kicks everybody's ass and takes off their heads with the magic sword from Legend... Blah, blah, blah. Look at him. His head is just about to explode. He has not even... Where do you think these great mythical, fictional legends came from? They came from heroes doing heroic things. Yeah. Do you think that that all happened just in the ancient times? No, no. I, I believe that those moments are happening. I just and don't like being the court jester. All. And I don't like being the court jester that's retelling those stories. That's what it tells nobody's me, court jester. What it tells me is that I should it? have I should have asked for the sword. <laughs> you <laughs> are doing just fine. Mm. Just fine. Well, now I am because I'm still alive. And she looks meaningfully at Blanca at the story because it's not uh, it's not make believe, she knows. You asks the cook to see if she can rummage around and find some vodka, and she comes back with a with a fine Scandinavian clear, which he doles out to everyone. Yeah. Yes, even even Robin with her wine. <laughs> hey, she, she almost died. She thinks so. Therefore, she's for vodka. Yes, Guinevere. 
This is or, life's nectar. Or is it a grain? Or who are you talking to? <laughs> to Robin? Robin. <laughs> so the grain also dies. Good point. <laughs> uh, Blanca, does that mean that the thing that's upstairs... So we just have some things to button up. You've recounted all these tales, talking with this man. There are sounds... creatures in the household we must dispatch. And there's one who is belligerent even to his queen, who is absolutely on his final lap. Oh, the fair Derg? Yes. I said it right, didn't I? <laughs> Derg. Well done. Let me put a bookmark in here. One moment. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. He... If she, it hunts at night, we're awake. No, we have to lure it, and we have to be very cunning, because he can disappear. So it is it is a moment. We have a moment. She I, points to uh, Blanca. I am restored to what I was this morning. Oh, so, so I'm just wondering if... Uh, you simply go back to bed all by your lonesome if uh, perhaps someone were there. We have to lie in wait in Constance's room. She is the bait, isn't she? Not? Isn't she? She is, and I shall share her bed until this creature show itself. Would you not prefer that I share her bed? I would really not prefer that. I, I don't think the colonel has that either. And not for yours. I saw that look in his eye. Oh, helpful. <laughs> Always look helpful. Her older sister is a looker too. <laughs> you know what? What's Have that? that. Victoria, Victoria, bitch. No, that totally. That totally will, fits Bjorn's. Yeah, I will Have fuck at. the mean out of her. <laughs> <laughs> I did, Have the mean out of her. Totally, totally fits that. <laughs> I think that's a great idea because, well, first off. Once you go Bjorn, you don't go for shallow, go chinless, yes, anything. Yep. <laughs> and, he also and, says you don't walk straight, but anyway. Yes. I don't think Victoria needs to walk straight. I she look around the room. The <laughs> <laughs> when we finish with our refortification. And everyone looks sadly at the rest of the food you've left. <laughs> Doesn't hey, matter. I I'll stab it. My dessert. That's... Someone just scrapes it onto his plate. Well, <laughs> I stab a few items that look really good while he's doing oh, that. Robin, she almost died. She did die. <laughs> I am going to Constance's room, and I will spend the night there. If you feel it is important to keep watch, well, why don't you message? Yeah, put a message on one of us. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a demon by its toe. We need to be able to sneak in and take a shot without having to. Yeah, it it has is, to happen once. Is, is yeah a word? If yeah is a word, then it ended on Banny. If yeah is not a word, then it ended on me. Reach over and take Bjorn's hand. If I need you, I'll call for you. You're such a tease, Impy. <laughs> Don't call me that. And then walk away. <laughs> and then walk away with look over the shoulder. I'll just look. I'll, I'll listen for the thumping as you run up the stairs and down the hall. And I'm in thumping. the next room it's over. More like, it's more like pitter patter with her. So Blanca is heading off to Constance's room. What are the three of you doing? I'm going to go back to my room. I'm going to. Scrape the chair back, bow, and say, tonight was lovely. I don't know how people are going to handle that Anissa's head on your belt, so uh, you might want to put it in your room for a bit. I forgot about that. Why is it Why is it of the prime material and it doesn't dissolve like everything else? Oh, no. The Anise was it's here. Not a fairy. Yeah, it wasn't not a fairy. A fairy. It's, a, it's a creature of darkness. Well, and think of the giant. It was still there. Oh, man. Somebody's going to have to clean that up or it's going to start stinking. Ooh, that's rough. You know, this is crazy because this actually makes sense to me now. 
as if I was, you know, 10 years old. Of course, it's a creature of darkness. Yes, it's not a fairy. Now you are learning the Bjorn way. <laughs> Try some opioids. Yeah. <laughs> they go. All they put things are possible. Everything into context. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go have a cigarette outside and then I'll go to bed. Bet they're yeah. living through chemistry. <laughs> you Don't reminded you want to me. Play and drink with me, and lose your inhibitions. <laughs> One more drink. That's all it'll take. Yeah. Uh, he pushes the bottle, but that's what we're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I I walk out. I bow and I say, Bjorn, you are magnificent, and I'm going to walk out. It's the stuff legends are made of. Skull. Skull. <laughs> Do you walk with Blanca and then continue on to the third floor? Yeah, I'll walk with her second? side by side for the first little bit and say, it might not be tonight, but we will get him. And I don't know how much longer you intend to stay here, but maybe we should actually make it just a little bit of a holiday. Hmm. So the stuff, the 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 creepy guy upstairs, he's uh, the in the attic. We have to deal with that too. We can do that tomorrow, I assume. Get a good night's rest. Okay. okay. I think I'm gonna go knock on the knocker's door. Say hi. Stay <laughs> out of the floorboards. Hey, you got to play in a in a in a hot a, a groundhog hole. I mean, think of that. With That's, Merlin. <laughs> with with a legend, absolutely. Go to well, sleep, sleep well, have perfect. amazing dreams. Say hello to Bixby and Bartimus. I will, and I'll you tell him I lost the box. The, <laughs> you head up to the third floor. <clears throat> uh, Wonka, you make your way down to Constance's room. Are you going to knock, or are you just going to walk right in? Just walk in. You walk in. Um, you see that Constance is in her bed, sitting bolt upright, blankets up to her chin. She is bone white and staring at her wardrobe against the wall near you. She darts a look at you and then looks back at the wardrobe. Walk in slowly. It's, it's, it's here. Do you close the door or you leave it open? I close the door. It's not leaving on my watch. <laughs> I lock the door slowly so it can see. She is still staring at the wardrobe. Fair Dirk. Care to dance? Perception. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> uh that's uh 13 oh, 13 you oh, are geez. staring at the uh wardrobe and nothing responds to you constance where do you see it i saw it peak it peeked out of the wardrobe it's so foul save me Spare me. Cast a wry grin towards the wardrobe, and in my head, call for Bjorn. <laughs> We're just doing our toast. Bjorn. Bjorn is actually thinking that he was going to get lucky with Robin tonight and goes, <laughs> We have a call. We have to go. What are I'm... you saying to Bjorn? It's here. It's time. We're going to Constance's room. Come, come. Let's go. Two of you head out of the basement. Um, Secret message dart? <laughs> How far 
is the door from her bed? Mm, about 15 feet. It's a big room. And the wardrobe is on the same wall as the door. Um, given the opportunity, I will interpose myself between the wardrobe and the bed. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what Eric's doing, but to watch. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to meta it too much, but I've got all, all these right. thoughts in my head right now. <laughs> Constance says, Look. Wait. Look there. <clears throat> Focus my vision where she indicates. You turn. Yeah. And she reaches up and hits you with a color spray. Damn it. Uh, this is a will save. Oh, thank God. <laughs> because that is that is Blanca's. Uh, will 31. Yeet, yeet. You rolled a 31? Mm-hmm. That is a critical success. Um, rainbows just blow past you with absolutely no effect whatsoever and Constance melts away to be this foul baboon nosed rat creature in a moldy coat top hat with half a dozen arms sticking out of its jacket each one holding an open stray razor What state is the bed in? Um, it's a mess. It's all torn up. Let's have an initiative, you and I. A little better. 25. 19. 38. Whoa. Good God. Didn't get the drop, I guess. Blanc is not really that. She doesn't wear her track shoes every day. Yeah. <laughs> 38 is really What high. did you get, Blanca? 25. That's pretty good for Blanca. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's like on fire. Yeah. <laughs> the fair derg leaps off the bed. Um, it's blurringly fast. And it begins slashing at you with the straight razors. And snarling. Eight plus fifteen. Not enough. And it slashes again. It's leaped off the bed and onto the floor. It only comes to your waist. So it's attacking your legs. 19. This again. Your action. My corrupt companion, you have sullied this room for the last time. Make the bed. Command. <laughs> <laughs> this is a will save, yes? Correct. 33. Oh. No. I think he saves. Yeah. But even on a success for a command, let's just double check. He might have at least some loss of will. Let's command. Por favor. Co. And. Man, success, unaffected. Okay. Okay. It chitters at you in a language you do not understand. Um, I So I spent two actions for the command spell. 
I will use the third action to move towards the bed. And if I can stand on the bed, that's where I'll end my action. Yep, you can leap to the top of the bed. Yep. The creature. So Bjorn and Robin, you are you need to go from the basement to the first floor, first floor to the second floor. Um, it'll be one action to cover each stairway. So one action to get to the stairs, midway, foyer. That's one round. Um, you'll be outside Constance's door after two rounds. So you're already in motion. You've already used up one round. So Robin wants to stay in tow together with Bjorn, but she has a 35 move, so she kind of drifts. She can't help it 30 feet in front of him each of these turns. I don't know if that puts her there any sooner still than two rounds, though. Uh, his move is a 25 when he's not in a rage, so you're moving an extra 10 feet every six seconds. It's not going to be 30. measurably... Yeah, every 30 feet. Uh, you'll probably get there half a round before he will. Okay. She'll, she'll open the door for him. Uh, <laughs> do I get a chance to have a perception of this mad dash going up the stairs? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go ahead. Make your perception. That's a 23. You hear thumping from somewhere. I mean, could be downstairs. Could be the thing in the attic. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm kind of tipped off on things that thump in this house at any point in time. I may actually go and observe. If I mean, I I would have walked up to the door and either started knocking on it or had already introduced myself to Barnabas or one of those things. So I don't know exactly what state, but I was going up to the base of that armor when. Blanca went to Constance's room. That's true. Right. Yep. So. Sounds like a Viking clanging up the steps. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah. He does make a bit of noise as he <laughs> rattles his way up the stairs. Uh, Blanca, your opponent, um, in just a flash, runs across the floor, up the wall, midway across the ceiling, hanging there upside down, and casts at you. You see ghostly arrows come streaking toward you. Two of them. And there is, let's see. There's no defense against magic missile. Nope. 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 It's a, it's basically a sure hit. Uh, I, Each armor doesn't do it, but shield would if you had shield. I counterspell him. You take seven points of damage. She can using counterspell as a reaction. I think I need to do an arcana to make sure I understand what spell he's using. Okay. Fifteen plus eighteen. <laughs> Thirty-three. Um, nope. I, I see what's incoming. I use a dispel magic to negate the spell. Okay. Real. Um, having, let me see. Let me just double check. Uh, I think he had counters. I think. Because I've identified what it is and I spent a spell to counter it, I just counter it. But let me double check. Do you have to defeat his DC or does he have to defeat yours? That's a fair question. 198 or 209. I'm going to go to 209. I'll go to 198. You expend a prepared spell to counter the triggering creature's casting of the same spell. You lose the spell slot if you had cast the triggering spell. Then you attempt to counteract the triggering spell. For 58, 
why didn't they point us there in the first place? That's interesting. Counter spell. A creature casts a spell that you have in your repertoire. You have an unexpanded spell slot you could use to cast the trigger or to to cast the triggering spell. When a foe casts a spell you know and you can see its manifestations, you can use your own magic to disrupt it. You expand one of your spell slots to counter the triggering spells, the triggering creatures casting of that, and you. Yeah. Here it is. I think you lose your spell slot against the triggering spell. You then attempt to counteract or counteract the triggering spell. Page four, five, eight. And I got that. When attempting a counteract check, add the relevant skill modifier or other appropriate modifier to your check against the target's DC. If you're counteracting an affliction, the DC is the affliction stat block. Uh, but it, it is just the target's DC. So you do have to add all of your skill modifiers to counteract the target's DC. Okay, so I will roll against its... Um, Spell DC. DC. Yeah. Cocked. Let me get something that lands flat. Not, uh, 24. 24. You dispel its magical arrows. Hmm. Poofaroo. Does that use your action? Are you? That is a. That's reaction. a reaction. That was a reaction. So now you got this jabbering critter standing upside down on the ceiling, twenty feet above you. My turn. Yes. Mm, no sense playing with it. Lightning, <laughs> lightning. <laughs> lightning bolt. When all else fails, lightning it out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a no rodent problem? Harm in the filming of this adventure. <laughs> no gnomes were harmed. Yeah, that's right. No gnomes were harmed. Ooh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, 24, 34. It gets a reflex save. 34 plus 7. 41. It gets a reflex save. Let's see what happens. Where's its reflex? It seems to be a super speedy creature. 37. It uh, it certainly saves. So half damage of 41, 20? Is that a critical save? It might be a critical save. Oh. What mm. was that? 37? 26 is what it needs. Yeah. So 36 is a critical. It got a 37. Yeah. So that's a critical against a lightning bolt. Yeah, is that zero damage or quarter or what? Yeah. Lightning bolt. So saving throw, basic reflex. So there's no gradation. It just saves for half. Oh. There's no critical success? No, criti no critical success. Okay. And what was your damage? 41. So it takes 20. I take ten. Electric. Dun, 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 dun. Scalding damage for Blanca. Uh, that hurt. Um, so that's one action. I'm still on the bed. Is this a canopy bed? No. Uh, no, it's two actions to cast lightning. Was it not? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I will cross my arms and throw myself to the bed on my back. <laughs> I thought you were going to do a whole genie thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did he... <laughs> you throw yourself onto the bed on your back. It's round. The fair derg pulls off its hat, reaches inside, pulls something out in its hand, and throws it at you. Where are your phosphorus grenades? 
25. How is that with your armor class? That is a normal hit. Um, you take a hit from what feels like kind of muddy shit Ew. filled yeah. with pieces of broken bones and rat teeth. You take two points of damage. Oh, do I, insane. Do I sense any other malevolence in this? Do you sense any other malevolence? Just, like, is it of a magical nature? Um, arcana check to understand if there's something more than just stench clinging to me. Disease. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah. Is there a curse here? Uh, a total of 20. Um, yeah. You realize as you are about to make your fortitude save, there is something <laughs> to this. <laughs> Fortitude? Well, I'm glad you waited on that fortitude save. But there's something more to this. Um, 14. Oh, 14. good God. What is that? No. A one, two, three? It's a four. It's a four. <laughs> oh. That is a failed save. Yes. Yeah. Where do I find poisons? Ew. It uh, smells funny and it hurts. It's a slush ball. Oh, I'm an OP. Maybe it's not under poison. Maybe it's under its effect. Uh, yeah. 452 is the damage type, but there's a lot of traits, a lot of poisonous. And it tells me exactly what type it is. Okay, 452 what then. Of, what kind of poison? Uh, Amongst the many alchemical... Poison, poison damage, poison. venoms, toxins, and the like can deal poison damage, which affects creatures by way of contact. 457. How about that? Gotcha. All right. To see how poison works, let's look at the arsenic alchemical item. Yes. Wow, we are such nerds. Come on. Yeah. Now. <laughs> no. It's an actuarial table about arsenic effects. Ah, here you go. Gives me a chubby. <laughs> <laughs> how do you want to die today? Okay. Cost three gold pieces? This is Oh, okay. Where are so you seeing that? Initial save. This was not a critical failure, your save, was it? What did, what did you roll? Um, 14. 10 plus 4, 14. 14. Probably. If it's a DC 18 arsenic, then no. It's just a fail, right? Yeah, it's just a fail. It's not quite arsenic. So, what? Sickened and some poison damage? No, it's lethargy poison. Ew. So it's going to be weakness. The poopy makes you want to sleep. <laughs> the poop that makes you want to sleep. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. I'm tired. That's how I feel every time I encounter a poopy left by a dog or a cat. Like, I don't want to do anything with this. this I don't want to deal with this right now. I'm going to go to bed. I mean, he just hit me in the face with it. Uh, Is there a condition that I... I'm mean, looking at the conditions to see what would be... What would be close. Thickened, maybe? Oh, maybe. Sickened. Paralyzed. Lethargy. Let's see. Enfeebled? No, that's the brain. Blinded, broken, clumsy. What does, what does touch of idiocy do, Keith? Um, is it slow? Drained. Blood mm. loss or something similar has leached your vitality. Does that sound like lethargy? Drained is more of a condition of losing losing blood. Yeah. Blood or your aura, your your essence, your soul. I mean it's the draining fatigue. Fatigue would make. Fatigue seems 
reasonable. Lethargy and fatigue yeah. kind of play into each other. Your defenses are lower and you can't focus while exploring. That sounds like lethargy. Oh, it totally falls in line, especially because you're like, yeah. oh, this is so gross. I don't want to deal with it. So, so you take are a minus one status penalty to armor class and saving throws. You are fatigued one. And all it takes is a nice shower. God. My um, turn. He has one more action. Uh, that would cause him to. It's if he pulls something out of his hat, it's the same as drawing. Hmm. So the first was draw that out. Draw it. Throw it. He reaches in and draws something else out, and it looks like if a billiard ball was made out of metal and covered in spikes. Ah! That's what he pulled out of his hat. Still jabbering. Your action. Um, hey, Rocky. Grab the bed sheets on the side, pull them over me, start to roll into that cocoon of blankets, and then cast invisibility and throw the blanket onto the floor and remain on the bed. Okay. Let's see what its innate abilities are. It makes a screeching sound that could be anger, it could be laughter. You're not sure what that is, <clears throat> but it is. It's round. Now, is that three? I'll just say that probably was two rounds total. Are they at knocking at the door outside? Yeah, they'll be there at the end of this creature's action. Okay. Um, I don't need your help. Don't run so fast. <laughs> Did you say I don't need your help? You want us to roll initiative, John? <laughs> in a moment. Okay. You'll be able to jump in in just a minute. I want to see if this is going to do any good. Meanwhile, talking to Bixby. Well, actually, if Bixby seems to have some pretty keen awareness, he could say, oh, the fair Derek is actually in the room right now. Yeah. Well, you were on your way to his little door when you heard Bjorn thundering up the stairs from down below. Yeah. Uh, if I knocked, I would have said, oh, I got something to do. <laughs> I've reloaded the Derringer, too. Damn, and where's Constance? Yeah, that's a really the concerning thing. Fair Derg screeches um multicolored lights appear throughout the room and begin bobbing and it throws the spiked ball at the bed where it last saw you so it will be at a minus four um 50 50. it's such a mess he sinks it into the headboard at the top of the bed <laughs> breathe a sigh of relief but try to muffle it so i don't give away my position <laughs> <laughs> and now you've got lights floating all around. Robin, you reached the door first. Bjorn told you that she was calling because right. you don't have a message on you. It's true. And she, he said, I, think, I think his exact said, words were is that you know she needs us or something. She said to slow down. She doesn't need our help. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that message has already been expended. It's I gone. really only have a half a round advantage, so I'm just going to basically pull open the door so that Bjorn doesn't have that irritating delay of having oh. to spend an action to open a door. Unfortunately, you're still going to have what, that irritating what, delay. I, what a lady she's turned out to be. Yeah. Yeah, she's opening the door for Vikings. It's locked. She wants me. <laughs> it, it is locked. Oh, it, it is it, locked. It is oh, locked. locked. Oh, that's your action. Damn it. <laughs> you and Bjorn can now roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why would she lock the door? Right. What sense does that make? 
31 initiative. Bjorn got a 17. He's a little slow. But not huffing and puffing, let's be clear. That's right. <laughs> you get to break this down. <laughs> we don't, I don't have my tools on me. Well, it would be... Robin, you got there. You checked the door. He's last in the order. He uh, throws himself at yeah, the door. It's going to splinter. As he does, he drops the greatsword. And what you see is it started as a man and turned into a bear by the time it hit the wood. And just knocks the door flat. Blanca, you see a bear erupt into the room with a roar. I and then stand there startled as it sees the colored lights and the thing on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get that, that. That is a great warm fuzzy. This is like balloons at a childhood party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a dancing bear. We got the lights. <laughs> it's a dancing bear. <laughs> the creature on the ceiling um, color sprays the bear. <laughs> Crayola or exactly. you know those multi multicolored crayons where they melted all of the pieces together and they told you it was a cool crayon, but it was just a piece of crap that made yeah it's just crappy lines right. brown lines because you know everything turns to brown. <laughs> what is it? It's totally gypped. It's got fifteen colors, but it always draws brown. It always draws brown. That's that's uh, exactly um yeah happens to me all the time <laughs> oh god the bjorn bear catches a color spray and does not save oh oh uh, failure he is stunned one blinded for one round and dazzled for one minute oh whoa damn. dazzle doesn't i look up dazzle Dazzle's not very fun the rest of that sounds like it's miserable. All, uh, all creatures and objects are concealed from you when you are dazzled. For a minute? Take that curse off. If your vision is, only, is your only precise sense, all creatures yeah. and objects are concealed from you. Oh my gosh, that's rough. Oh, he thankfully a, has a nose and he right, can smell can shit. Bare precision sense attack. On I think it's an imprecise sense though. It is an imprecise Although sense. he knows he's on the really? ceiling. I don't know how bears travel on the ceiling, but I haven't seen it lately. Dancing just on follow the ceiling. Your nose. It's just like that song. I need, that, I need a levitate spell for that bear. It's, just, it's <laughs> a too. union. I was going <laughs> straight out that. with I was going with Toucan Sam. Follow your nose. But, you know, Make me fly. <laughs> <laughs> that will be. Maybe that should be on the shirt. <laughs> So the bear blunders right into a color spray while Robin safely hides behind the door. I opened it right <laughs> for you. Do something. Oh, you're never mind. Oh, that's right. You can't be hiding behind the door because the door's flat in the room. Right. Do I get a chance? Right Do there. I get a chance? Can I can I like bolt down and, and join them? You get to spend one round running down the stairs because you heard the bear, you heard the door, you heard a lot. Um, and then next round you will join them. With a initiative roll. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Stunned. You can't even act. This is a horrible spell. A stunned. Stunned. One. Right. Is it the full round or is it? You become senseless. You can't act while stunned. Stunned usually is a value indicates how many total actions. Okay, you just lost one action. You lost one action. Yeah. But, he but blinded for one everything round. is right. still concealed, well, though. Which yeah, he's makes... blinded for a minute. That's ten everything turns. is hidden from him. Yeah. He's just blinded for one round, but dazzled, he might as well be blinded because he can't see anything. Right. Yeah. That is a rough, rough condition. That's hellacious. That's, that's almost as bad as being. Spell. That's almost as bad as being bitten by a jabberwocky, then picked up and, <laughs> and squeezed eaten. and then beaten to death. Almost. Almost. And then being cut in half. And chomped. And then being yeah, thrown in the mouth and then swallowed, then cut in half. Yeah, almost. 
Paid some penance for that one. Mm. Uh, Robin, you are next up. Take I it for initiative. Yeah, what'd you roll? No, what did you roll? No. Oh, me? No, I'm I not. asked you first. <laughs> We know my initiative. What's your role? No, what is your initiative, Robin? My in- oh, my initiative is. I gave that like a turn ago, thirty-one or something. I don't know. Wake up. Eighteen, fifteen. I got a thirty-three. If you want mine, okay. Banny, you spend your round getting down to the group. Okay, Robin. Okay, so what is it that I saw with the rainbow splash? Did I see it come down from the ceiling? All you saw was that rainbows came bursting out of the room. If you uh-huh. looked any closer, you would have been subject to the effects. Okay. Um, jump forward into the room with my pistol drawn and do perception to see where it is. Blanca! Look for the unicorn! Look for the unicorn. <laughs> uh, perception roll is a 32. Um, so what you see is the bed is just a trashed mess. There's this rat thing in an overcoat and a top hat standing upside down in the middle of the ceiling. Yes. Colored Chinese lanterns floating all around the room and a rampaging bear with sparkles floating around his head, blundering into furniture and roaring. This isn't good. Any sign of Blanca in all of that with a 32? Uh, no. You don't see the skinny girl. It's hard to notice that when you've got all this. <laughs> when you got all this? Yeah, all of this. <laughs> Take out a notepad and begin... No, okay, so I'm going to shoot at the horrible rat creature right there. That's my... Sorry, Hunt Prey will be second action, and then Hunted Shot will be the third and final action for myself, ladies and gentlemen. And Hunt Prey, baby. Last slide. Don't fail me now. 35 to hit. Jeez. It was a good roll, 17. Yeah. But, but John don't care. What was your roll? I'm sorry. 35 to hit. Damn. Yeah. I know. I rolled a 17 and I got last light in my hand. That is a crit. Merci beaucoup. And you are firing cold iron? Oui. That's a result that I have loaded. Squeals when you shoot him. Squeal like a pig for me. That was the first one. You have two shots, right? That's true. That's true. I'm just rolling this critical hit first, which is going to be doing the double damage with the hunted shot effect. Ugh, the second round of D8s make me feel meh. But anyways, each die is going to get plus two damage because of the hunt prey and high caliber. Thus, two, oh my four, god, six. I know, right? Right? I, I need to. I need to. To, but it's because it's a crit. Okay. This is going to hurt badly. But let's see if the second round of the hunted shot hits or does not hit. Oh, it's not gonna hit. I'm mad. 10, so we're going to a, oh shit, 25 minus 5 will be a 20. 20 will or will not hit. Uh, 20. You did not hit with either bullet? No, no, well, no, no, no. I'm asking you whether a 20 in total will hit for the second bullet that was part of the thing. Okay, so only the first shot, only the first bullet hits. But that was a critical hit, so it does at least do 33 points of cold Jeez. iron damage. Good God. Nice. When she crits, baby. <clears throat> when she crits. When she crits. It shrieks, squeals, jabbers at you in a disgusting little language. And do you have any other actions, or are you done? Moved in, hunt prey, and hunted shot. I'm done. Okay. Blanca. It's on the ceiling. Blanca, where are you? From the bed, invisible, I will spend an action to silence my spell so I don't have any verbal. And I will conjure 
a version of myself climbing out from under the covers that I just threw to the floor and moving towards the wall in a panicked fright, stop against the wall, look up at the ceiling in kind of that frightful panic mode and move towards the door to leave, but lose my balance so that I look like a vulnerable target. A maiden in distress. Oh Excellent. dear. I, I want him to feed on his victory. Well, it certainly works on Robin. You see <laughs> Blanca leap out of the bed and scramble in your direction, running like a girl in a cheesy gothic novel. <laughs> I mean, like, bear that's not doesn't, like her, but she must be afraid. Must be the afraid. bear doesn't notice shit, but he wipes out a bookcase. <laughs> 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 oh, that was concealed. It's not concealed anymore. Uh, Bjorn is just blundering bear-like, and then we move to the back to the top of the order. Danny. <clears throat> Danny? The we'll fair dare is apparently not interested in the gothic romance heroine and throws a... Uh, Color spray at Robin. Who, me? You've already cool. used that trick. Yes. He's got a lot of that trick. Yeah. Is this going to be a will save? Uh, it is a will save. Okay, well, she's kind of a pissed off Clovian woman. So that's, we're going to be using that hero point now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we aren't going to take that critical failure. No, no, that would be very, very bad. Very bad. Very bad. All right. Uh, Will of 15. 29. 29 is a critical success. You are unaffected. And it runs in just a tight circle on the ceiling, squealing. Its tail darts back into its overcoat and comes out holding a baby rattle, but there's a skull, a baby skull at the top of it, and it's shaking it, and it's, one of its other hands reaches inside of its hat and pulls out what looks like a blob of mud with white specks in it. Wonka, you're still affected, or were you affected by the, uh, the poison? Yes, you were. You had lethargy one. Yep. You are now lethargy two. Mm, it, got worse. it got worse? I think it got worse. And you need to make another saving throw to keep it from continuing. Oh, because the rattle? I rolled a 19. Ooh. What, what's the fortitude? Uh, yes, fortitude. You're 29. Sure. Sorry. You, uh, as you are laying in the bed, you managed to wipe it off of you and you're starting to feel a little bit better. You're not as sleepy as you were. When poop makes you sleepy, that's gotta be something. Yeah. Sleepy poop. <laughs> Do you go back to like your primal prenatal kind not prenatal, but like your like natal state? Oh I did poopies. I feel better now sleep. Yeah. Banny, I still feel that way. <laughs> Uh, I am seeing all this psh, 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 spraying right. and, through and the lights and all sorts of crazy stuff. You probably saw Robin shooting at the ceiling. That'll help. <laughs> well, I heard you say it's on the ceiling. Yeah, you've heard gunfire. You saw I've heard... colorful lights come out, but you haven't seen what's going on in the I room. Did, I did call out. You're right. It's on the ceiling. I, I run up to the doorway. I'm not going to run into the room just yet. I want to spray. Uh, do a quick ops, uh, perception, which is a 23. So let me paint the picture for you. You've got yeah. Robin crouched off to the right, blasting away at something on the ceiling that looks like a rat in an overcoat and a top hat standing ah, ah. upside down. You've got your colored lanterns swirling all around the room. Blanca is running toward you, flailing her arms, wearing a flouncy white gothic heroin <laughs> nightgown. 
And there is an enraged, dazzled bear blundering around the room, wrecking the furniture. Oh, my (laughs) God. I... It's a shit show. I just kind of want to leave at this point. I just want to walk away. (laughs) (laughs) Shut this down. There's no door. (laughs) You got to pick the door up. Pick the door up. Put Put this back in place. Uh, I pull out the the, uh, Derringer, and I look for the creature that's zipping around on the the ceiling. I assume that's it. I'm going to mark that one, and I'm going to do... Uh, I am going to do hunted shot. I'm no? just I'm not going to do a hunted shot because it's a it's it's a single. No, I will. It, I'll do a hunted a shot, shot, and I will use uh each barrel individually. Nice. Okay, so first one, nineteen. Like, what, nineteen. That yeah. sounds good. And the second one is. Nineteen, I'm, nice. I okay. I I two nineteens. Yeah, this one, th- this time the keyboard bouncing it back actually did it for me, and that puts <laughs> me at thirty. Wow, uh, five. Yeah, thirty-five, 31. and then thirty-one. I know that one is a crit for the first one. Yeah, yeah, and. Yep. It's actually because of the gun itself, it has some bonuses to it, but I'm I'm not actually counting the bonuses. I'm just putting Oh the plus one to hit. Yeah, it, it it's probably a plus one. It said plus four per barrel, but I'm not I I can't in good conscience use that. So plus one per barrel sounds good. Uh uh do, what does that put the first and second shot? What are those at? Thirty six and thirty Two. Yeah, thirty-six yeah, and thirty-two. 36 to hit. And 32. Okay. Was that to hit? Two hit. One. Yeah, the first yeah. one is two hit. A thirty-six and a thirty. First one was critical. Okay, first and the thirty-two. Was thirty-two was not critical. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I am going to double. Do you double the? Oh, in high caliber, you said right. Derringer. Toro. It's, is that high it's caliber? It's a forty-five. It uses a forty-five. No, the more ones I roll, the more angry I get. I know, right? 14, 15, oh, okay, 16, 15, 16, uh, plus 4, plus 4, because it's a, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, so 30 on the first hit. Double. Ch- I want to double check you on something. Yeah. So it is high caliber, Yes. Oh, and the plus twos, and I have five dice. Plus two, plus two damage per die, which would be doubled, so it makes it plus four. Do you understand? Okay, so right. you roll uh, four dice. Why are you rolling five? Because one, I have a striking rune on it. Oh, on the Derringer too. The Derringer has a striking rune. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so oh my god, this is going to be therefore plus four damage. Times five. Yeah, it's twenty. That's eight. I'm sorry. Yeah, twenty. Four. Twenty on 20, top of twenty more. Yeah, yeah. it's so much it's better. Basically fifty points, and that's I one need to get shot. A striking rune. I need a striking rune like last week. Uh, and the second one is just throw actually away this swill of last life. Eight plus four. Uh. And I think that there's an additional plus two in there, four, six, uh, 14 on the second shot. Welcome you to Math Lab. Yeah. Two bullets into it and it squeals. Check your actuary tables. I I don't think, I, I think that I actually did more, but I'm not, I am going to have to do some calculations with something like that because that was ridiculous. <laughs> Robin. It's squealing? Yeah. Like a little pig? Oh, yeah. Still okay. running in a tight little circle around and around and around on the roof, rattling a skull, baby skull, baby rattle in its tail. Yeah. Okay. I uh, go and brace myself against the uh, open doorway, and I'm going to use that 
as an action to get my hunted shot advantage back and do the hunted shot so I can do two shots again. Let's see if we can... I just finally rolled... Is this my first 20 of the night? No, after Bjorn. It's my first 20 of the night. Yay! There it is. 20. So this will now be a squealing good time. Uh, Five plus two plus... Oh, that's better. Four plus eight plus... So regular dice, eight, uh, ten, extra d8 or plus. extra dice, striking rune dice. Extra I roll dice. forty damage on the first bullet. Who needs a striking rune? Cold iron. Hmm? Seriously, seriously. I just so rolled are, a crit. Are you rolling three dice or two dice? Um, remember. What I have is a D8 weapon, and then I yeah. did the hunted shot. So I braced myself to get my... Uh... Oh, no. No, I understand. How many right. dice so, are you rolling? Because I need to know four. that. Four so dice. The, the original D8 yes. plus my hunted shot bonus is now doubled. So I rolled four D8, right? I, Next. And now you, in your case, you I have rolled... a striking rune. So the striking rune would make it so you're rolling the D8 plus the hunted shot. And then also the striking room, you'd be rolling 6d8. Yeah, I rolled five dice. Right. And I should have rolled six. And True. then I would have had a 12 on top of that. But, but anyway, but go the, ahead. But the pluses are where the stuff's at, right? Because you have the plus four, which is doubled to plus eight for your weapons proficiency and also as a ranger. Yes. Plus, it's plus two damage per die if... You hunt prey on your critical hit. Yeah. Oh. So man. double that up. Second shot bullet minus five on the hit. So I'm at thirty. I'm at forty damage total on that hit for the first bullet. And let's see if this second one even hits. Let's see. Minus yeah. five. Twenty four on the second uh, bullet. Second bullet does not hit. Okay. And it's still just squealing after that. No, you get a it's different dead. reaction. <laughs> Yeah, it's first straight to it. Actually, you when you hit it, which it should have been doing a while ago. I just realized it. Um, you triggered a reaction with the full, first bullet strike. Yep, the critter accelerates, runs across the ceiling, down the wall, past you, running past your ankle with its straight razor. We'll see Ooh. if it hits you. Ouch. 24. Mm, that's close, but I think you'd be short. Yeah, she jumps over the uh, razor shot. Races back up the other wall, back to the ceiling, and it's now moving in a circle faster and faster and faster than it was before. Do I think it's a harder shot to even hit now? It looks like it's getting faster with each passing moment. Damn it, Blanca! Starting I think, to I, blur. I Blanca, think that. Hold on. I still, have my, I still have my third action. It's going to be a natch to even try to hit. So I'm not going to hit, but I'm going to say, Anka, pull yourself together. We need your magic now. Fires again. Misses ineffectually. Whoever. Oh, that's right. It's only ghosts upstairs from here. <laughs> Shooting the wall, uh, ceiling. Right. You're on the second floor. Oh, I'm, I'm on the second floor. floor. That would probably be yeah. where my bedroom is. The nursery is up there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody should be in the nursery. Right? Right? This isn't drywall on the upper floor. This is only three kids in the house. <laughs> three kids it's is solid. Be in the nursery at three in the morning. Stop it. It's a solid walnut. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. At the least, you've got a six by six timber there that's 200 years old. <laughs> <laughs> What's the percentage roll you want me to make, John? Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, Robin, calm down. Don't shoot the ceiling. Blanca, come on. Hey, Pone, we can't have any firing in there. Collect magazines. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want us to use? Harsh language? <laughs> I like to use this for close encounters. <laughs> Let's go. Next line. 
Oh, Blanca, what are you going to do? Well, Have you released your maiden in distress? Did she just run out into the hallway? I don't want to spend any actions on her performance, so she'll just kind of get dull and inert. Um, probably just taking a defensive posture near the wall. Oh. Um, I think it's time for our friend. Guess that. Um, the dresser in the room is full of her perfumes, music boxes, that kind of thing. Sure. Grab a large cluster of them and hurl them towards the rat on the ceiling. Um, telekinetic projectile. Yeah, actually, that will, I think, relieve me of my invisibility, though. Oh, well. I've done dumber things in my life. <laughs> and we've been there for only half of them. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> How many? Oh, shit. That's a good roll. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Damn, that's it. 15 points of damage. Really? That's all I do? Come on, lightning. That's a third level spell. Go to hell. <laughs> third level spell. Go to hell. <laughs> well, I memorized it a level higher to increase its damage, but... The roll didn't... Yeah. Well, there was a, I, ro I rolled one shy of my maximum, so... Wow. Really? It's wow. just... Telekinetic projectile isn't a great spell as you get higher levels. You threw a rattle at it and it just bounced yeah. off. It. Yeah. <laughs> Don't throw baby stuff at me. <laughs> How much damage did you do? Uh, 11, 15. And does he get a roll against that? And no. So it's all I could do. It's all I could do to hurt him. Do you have to hit his armor <laughs> class? Yeah. What was? Yeah, what your two. I did a. Yeah. Oh, did I roll it? I rolled that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a seventeen or something. Fifteen, seventeen. Rolled, what is it? Well, I'm I'm looking at a nineteen on my die here, but oh. I might have moved it. Do you remember what I rolled for my attack? I I it was high. 15, it was a fifteen. I think you rolled okay, a fifteen. 15. Yeah. That's what I don't remember. Yeah. Plus. You know what? Fresh roll. Let's just Fair end enough. the round of this second okay. guessing. Okay. Okay, maybe a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go with um, 15. <laughs> 19. Does a 19 hit? 19. What are your pluses? Or that's your total is 19? That's the that's with everything. But you hit it before. We know that you had we, we know you hit you the hit class before. That's, we did. Uh, he he retconned. Oh, wait, no. I remember you shatter oh. perfume and jewelry boxes across the ceiling. And it just continues to whirl like a dervish. So I saw. So what do we see? So the rest of, I mean, not Bjorn, of course, but we're talking about Banny and Robin. We just see nothing other than suddenly jewelry boxes fly up at the ceiling to try to hit it. And when we see her in bed now, her up here in the bed. Yeah. Oh, that's true. There's two walkers in the room. There's one cowering by the bureau right. and one on the bed. We Chilling. know, which, yeah, we know which one's real. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one looks a little bit. No fake. longer stunned, no longer blinded, but he's still dazzled and will be for another seven rounds. Oh That's my gosh! That's yeah, awful. The creature on the ceiling, if it's possible, accelerates, and is now doing huge laps. Um. It squeals. She's mine. She's mine. I'll drop her if you don't leave me alone. And then a couple of things happen. One, it does another one of its down the wall across the room with the straight razor after Robin's ankle. Yeah. That's, that's 28. 28 is a hit. 28. It cuts you. I'm gonna cut you. Cut you. We're gonna leap. Cut you slow. <laughs> Ow, my ankles. Eight points of damage. Ow. Son of a. And you need a fortitude save. 
Oh, this guy is, is just my disgusting. Weaker one. Uh oh. Let's see what happens. Seven plus fourteen is twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um, you are experiencing lethargy one. <clears throat> she reacts. Ugh. Banny, you see a hellhound come scrambling out from underneath the bed and launch at you. Fiery eyes, smoke, flames in its mouth, as big as a mastiff, and uh, it just comes worming out and leaps at you. I, I choose to... It I, matches you. You can choose whatever you want, but the oh. hellhound has just bitten you. Okay. Oh, damn. So it is real no matter what. I don't give a crap. Yeah. Hellhound don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Koa don't care. <laughs> 18 points of damage. God Ooh. damn. That's, that's a solid hit. And I was hurting you a little bit already. You smell the brimstone. You feel the heat. You feel the bite. Does anyone else? <clears throat> uh, oh, damn it. And now it is... When the spellcaster goes, oh, damn it, it's never a good sign. Banny's action. <laughs> I have this... I didn't do as much damage as I should have. Sorry. Mm, okay. But you missed. Or you been weak and powerless. I drop the Derringer on the floor. I look at Excalibur. Is it on the floor? Out in the hallway. I'm in the I'm in the hallway. I didn't go into the room. Yeah, I, it's lying there on the carpet. I pick up the sword. Uh, I have two ma two actions left. I am not going to pay attention to the Hillhound, even though it just basically bloodied my entire arm. I am going to rush to the bed and jump on it and swing in a wide arc into the path of the creature. Okay. So one action to pick it up, one to run and try to trampoline off the bed and swing at it as it's in its circular yeah. arc. Swinging at its arc. Now, if I need to do anything... Here. He's pulling out the samurai sword to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming oh, right for us. Seventeen. That's playing reference. I love it. <laughs> coming right at us. <laughs> Jumped out the window. He's coming right at us. <laughs> I can, I can use this as a finesse weapon, correct? Because it is agile. It's super light. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a a. A t 33. Nice. Whatever bonuses. You pass through the circle it's running and do not connect with the creature. What? Wait, Vorpal meets Vorpal. I mean, does it disintegrate anything? Does like the illusion? If anything, the thing starts moving faster and speaking faster in Cornish. Like Can we hear what is it put on a higher speed? <laughs> <laughs> He's Benny Hill. Uh, okay. So Robin. Damn it. Um, okay, so let's see. Did I have any wow. perception of the hellhound that attacked Banny? Yeah, you saw it crawl out from underneath the bed and pounce out and bite him in the hallway. It looked just as freaking real. And it um, hurt. Well, you didn't see it bite him. You're a little lethargic, but you right. heard him squeal. I got two two whole actions. Banny squealing. Well, better or worse, I just gave myself a rando chance. I'm still going to shoot for. Uh, Fire away. I. Yeah, you probably just saw me pass the blade through where he was at where that whole time. At. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, don't I just saw that know. happen. And I hit. That was a good hit. Well, I mean, it looked like it was a perfect shot right through what 
the thing was, I, I don't know. Let's see if this shot at the thing that we seem to be seeing flying around on the ceiling does anything. Uh, 32 is an attempt to hit. Uh, you punch a bullet through the ceiling and into the nursery again. Just again. Let's see what happens. Maybe crying. Maybe not. But but the <laughs> shot was something that I thought was going to hit legit or like, no, I was just going too fast and I couldn't possibly hit it too fast. Well, it looks like you might have been able to hit it, but it's so very fast. Your bullet was on the right trajectory. And it okay. looks like if the creature had been there at the same time the bullet passed through, you might have hit it. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Okay. Um, I only have uh, one action left because I'm lethargic. So I let last, dro last light drop from my hand. And with my other hand, I draw Papa from his holster and I aim for, do I, from this angle, I'm able to even, I couldn't see. Maybe I couldn't see it. You're talking about the hellhound? Right. You could turn and it face it. It went into the hallway to bite Banny, and then Banny ran in right. from the so, hall. So, so you can't see shoulder, it. Right I can't even see it. I'm going to take another shot now with Papa. Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> Doesn't have magic. <laughs> Thanks, Hansel. <laughs> exactly. It, yeah. Papa doesn't betray me. Uh, I have a Yentl reference. Um, 30 as an attempt to hit it with Papa. You punch another hole in the ceiling. It can't be hit! I'm out of action. Uh, I'm allergic. I just settled back against the wall. Blanca. Blanca, roll of perception. Eighteen total over the Ouch. spinning and jabbering and flashing lights and gunshots and hellhounds. Uh, you clearly hear Constance scream, long and piercing. <clears throat> Seems to be coming from the direction of the wardrobe. The screaming is coming from the wardrobe? That direction, yeah. Uh, clutch the pillow to my breast and start singing a lullaby. Lullaby and good night. It is time for your slumber. Save. Sleep. <laughs> you are throwing a sleep at the critter? Yep. Check his immunities. I just feel like I missed something big. Can you go to infinity on armor class? <laughs> and beyond. And the, the Jabberwock you practically did. Yes. This is a willpower. That is a will save. 36. Oh, damn. He does save. On a success, the creature takes a minus one status penalty to perception checks for one round. Okay. Not a critical save. Uh, critical uh, success, he's unaffected. Uh, what did you roll? 36. He needed it's a 26, 10. so it's a critical, yes. Yeah. Okay. And you have one action left, Monica. Uh, move off the bed, um, using it to kind of catapult me towards the wardrobe. You spring off the bed toward the wardrobe. Man, we got all you got the fucking flying Luendas going oh, on in here. It's like a Cirque du Soleil in Vegas. <laughs> How much would you pay? I ask you. Take a casual glance over at the cowering Blanca. <laughs> She's still cowering. 
the bear is now blundered over to a dressing area and is destroying a gown and a mirror. Ah, uh, hates furniture. The um, hellhound comes bounding back into the room and attacks Robin. Couldn't see it. 1626. So close. Just basically off my boot. And bites a second time. 21 minus 4. That's not going to hit. So the hellhound is back in the room snapping at you from behind. Sure seems the real. Creature on the ceiling immediately stops its spin and fades out of view. But you all hear it say in high-pitched Cornish, she's mine, but I'll drop her. I heard something about drop. I speak broken Cornish. What? That's right. Drop her. The thing drop has her. the dropsy. It's, it's almost dead. It's, it's got the dropsies. What the hell is going on? <clears throat> Which turn is it? I know. I think it's, it's Robin. Oh no, it's Banny. He's fastest. Banny. Say, Blanco, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Laughter from me as I stand yeah. near the wardrobe. I, I. Wait, where'd he go? I think we banished him, but I'm not sure. Help me open the wardrobe. I, I hope Constance is in here. Otherwise, he's still got her. This uh, is still here. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna turn <laughs> because it's probably within really close range to me right now. With I've got Excalibur. It's for fighting. fuck's sake! That's right, uh, here, I'm. I'm. I right realize what I'm holding. Is she in the in uh in the wardrobe? And I'm going to. Yeah. Step off um, of the bed and drop on top of the hellhound with a swing. Okay. Armor class eighteen. Uh, that is a nineteen with just a flat roll. Or the, no, that's a nineteen. <clears throat> whatever is added on top of with with Excalibur. You. Hit it with the great sword and the hellhound vanishes. Fuck! <laughs> so then it wasn't real? The fight sure feels real. Open the fucking. <laughs> I, I turn towards the wardrobe. You open the wardrobe. Normally, a wardrobe is about four feet deep holds a lot of clothes. Um, this one looks like a 10 by 10 room lined with stone. Below is a twisting, uh, descending pit lined with moss, skeletons, rotting flesh that drops all the way down to a reddish glow far, far below. The fair deer is floating in the air in the middle of this space. And with two of its hands, it is holding Constance's hands in her nightgown as she dangles out over this bottomless shaft. The fair deer is using a third arm to pick its nose. It's still shaking its baby skull, baby rattle. And the another arm is holding its um, straight razor. It is looking at you and chittering and jittering in a language you don't understand, but it sounds filthy. Grab at the dagger around my neck, clutch it tight. It lets go of one hand, and now she's dangling with one. And how she far, is screaming. How far away is he from me? Five, six feet. That's it? 10 by 10 space. You're about a foot away from it. He's in the middle. Um, 
She's mine. She's mine. Look to where he's holding her. How does he have her held? He's holding her by one hand, just around the fingers, and her whole weight is dangling over this pit. Will myself into that position above him. I mean, I know we're only five feet away, but I dimension door to knock his arm free and place myself where she is, knocking her out of his grip. So you're going to dimension door to push him away? Push her out of his her out of clutches. Displace her. I am put I want to We're, manifest in proximity that he can't hold her anymore and it, I am now his clutch. And then I, where will she go? She'll just drop to the floor or whatever. Well, that's she's over the pit right now. She's over she a pit over with a pit. whole bunch of spikes. Is it a is it a five foot displacement to the side that you're trying to do? I guess I'm trying to push her out of harm's way and put me in her place. The only place it's out of harm's way is toward you, out into the room. Well, she can make right. the dimension oh, door. Her I'll use the dimension the door to flip behind him and then with one action shove her. If I need to roll <coughs> attack to hit her to get her out of the way, so be it. Yep, you will. You'll have to defeat his armor class. And which I use is different from what it was when he was whirling and twirling. Whirling derby. Do I need to roll a physical attack, or can I use my arcana ability to manipulate the, the environment? Use your arcana. Come on, I'm going to do better than that. 21. So just so I understand the mechanics <clears throat> of it, are you trying to displace him? Are you displace. trying to displace her and knock her back into the room? Displace her, putting her back into the room. Okay. Um, that is a fail with your 21. Okay. Do you have a hero point you want to use? or? Yeah, because that was a really bad roll. Do it! <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Natch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 38. <laughs> oh, my God. You kick her out into the bedroom where she collapses and lands with a dramatic. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Everybody just walk away from I'm that. Spent. And you <clears throat> dimensioned in where he was. Yeah. Was. So with your Natch, now he's dangling over the pit. And you are holding him. Nice. Uh, but you're, you don't know how you're levitating, how you're hovering. Keep that grip and look down and meet his gaze. It looks up at you with just pure hate in its eyes. It bears its little ratty fangs. She was my friend first. <laughs> She'll always be mine. You drop him, and the fear deer plunges into the pit until he's out of sight. And then the last thing you see is a little puff of purple smoke way down at the bottom. You feel the wardrobe starting to close in on you. <laughs> Push out. Relieve myself of that uncomfortable cloister. <laughs> you push out into the room, and the rest of you see her leap out of a wardrobe full of ladies' clothing. <laughs> you mean after Constance? Constance, Constance is hysterical. <laughs> Shivering, crying, sobbing, clutching at you. Can't even speak English. Grab her, fall to the floor, and just kind of give myself a good sop to this is the worst vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Never go on Blanca Vacation Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> we when, vis when visiting Magnetia, 
I I'm gonna say we gotta we gotta call the help. <laughs> I've got the sword. I'm gonna hold on to the sword and go and pick up the derringer from the out uh, outside of the room and stand outside the room with the sword face down. Within another twenty seconds or so, the bear um, stops being dazzled stops being enraged and transforms back into an extremely confused looking Bjorn looking around the room. The, the colored lights are gone. The place is absolutely trashed. Um, Welcome back. <laughs> Banny, your damage that you received um, will come back at one point per round. Okay. So it, from the it, hellhound. Okay. Oh, then, then that's my, oh. wait, you didn't take any damage from him, but you took damage from the fair Derg. I did. I took eight from it. And you are still feeling fairly lethargic. Oh, Actually, wait. I'm going to need another save from you because you're into round two by now. What is needed? 16. 16. It's a 14. fortitude. Yeah. 16 plus 14 is 30. You... Hold steady, and it'll probably take you a minute or two before you're back to your normal self. But you don't get any more lethargic. That particular delight, if you blow three saves in a row, you sleep for 100 years. Oh, God! <laughs> and your new nickname is Rip Van Winkle. That's right. They call me Rippy. Oh, man. Well, uh, just pick up last light, feel still kind of dizzy, therefore slowed, and kind of like slump against the wall just looking at Blanca and Constance kind of like getting themselves together and a confused Viking. And you Banny. hear uh, Banny's you hear running feet out in the hallway and yeah. a moment later the Colonel and Mr. Padraig burst into the room both with firearms uh, looking around looking very shocked and stunned. Dismiss my simulacrum, stand up from the floor, pull Constance up with me, pull, hold her close. I think you are released from your tormentor. Both men are rubbing their eyes. They look like they've just woken up. The colonel says, every servant in the house is asleep in chairs on floors. No one's moving. We just woke up in the study. Oh, I think uh, you just take your nap. <laughs> we just need to find her a new room. Everything is settled. We have a little more work to do, but we're fine. She we're is fine. clinging to Blanca. Blanca, you might, you could take my room if you'd like. Oh, you've got your own. <laughs> I haven't spent much time there. <laughs> Constance, Constance, focus. She's starting to come around a little bit, but she's just looking at you like you are her whole world at this point. <laughs> your tormentor has been repelled. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. She hugs you, squeezes you to where you think your spine's going to crack. <laughs> surprisingly strong yeah we have a bit of business to take care of before the night is through you're safe get some rest these two men will stay with you gesture towards those who just came in yeah the colonel her or... uncle her uncle and padraig um actually take her out of the room they're going to take her downstairs somewhere uh Betty, bjorn robin Wait, yeah. we're we're not going to clean up everything, all the messes today, tonight. Are you okay? Are you injured? Oh my God, we're going to be exhausted if we don't just take. What else do we have to resolve? What is what needs to be resolved right now? What's in your mind, Blanca? That has to be done. Is the attic clear? No, no, but we can deal with that. We can deal with that in in time. Let's, Is that what's let's... over us here? Is the attic? No, the, it's upstairs. The, the, the whisper, the the thing that 
the whispers to the children. We need you to think resolve. Upstairs is the nursery. Right yeah. above all those bullet holes. Yeah, we should probably check on the nursery. Might want to do that. Pull myself up. I, I have to feel like uh, I'm like, you know, 200 pound gorilla and uh, reload as I walk. This is amazing. This is a, this is absolutely amazing. Bjorn slaps you on the back. Ugh. It feels good to use, yeah? Well, it was an illusory creature, but it did a really good job when I hit it. <laughs> yeah. I slayed the Jabberwock with it. That's all I'm told. Yeah, well, you took a lot of caps off head, so that's just fine. That off. didn't happen. <laughs> Let's, and uh, the king of the red caps, and the giant, and an anise. What can you do with a good weapon, right? Uh, no. No. I'll just, I'll just think back on that. Blanca, what do you want? What do you want to do right now? Let's... Let's sleep. Let's rest. Let's well, relax. I mean, Robin is honestly walking to the stairs to go up, not to the attic necessarily, just to make sure that nothing's really bad in the nursery. To go up to the third floor. <laughs> I'll talk with Banny on the second floor while Robin goes upstairs. And <laughs> let, we... let Robin go check on the children, make sure there's. No nope, further. Robin, you get up to the third floor. Um, the nanny is in the hallway. She is dressed in her nightgown. Um, she has the door to the nursery open, and she is just staring in horror. It looks like she's starting to hyperventilate. Uh, she rushes up to her. What? What is it? And looks inside. Smaxer. What is it? <laughs> Smacks her again. What is it? <laughs> I will tell you. Um, inside, there are... There's a small, like a youth bed and a larger crib and then a cradle. Um... It looks very much like your classic Victorian nursery. Um, but at the cradle, something is standing beside the cradle. It's dressed in what looks like maybe once upon a time was an infant's night shirt. Um, but there is a uh, butcher knife in its left hand. Looks like it's wired to whatever leathery little hand it has. And it has the skull of what could be some kind of a bird, like a big bird that doesn't fit its body. It is standing next to the cradle and it's reaching in and you see with its other leathery little hand, it's stroking the cheek of a sleeping infant. Stare at stare at it and say, "You are evicted." And I'm going to do intimidate, glare. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, the rolls have not been disappointing to me. Uh, what's my plus on intimidate? Oh, it's my intimidate skill. Yep, your intimidate skill. Uh, 29 Intimidation. You do a 29 Intimidation. The thing looks at you, lets out the most pathetic and bitter sobbing that you have ever heard in your life, which will require you to make a will save. Oh, well. Um, 17. 17 total? 17 in total. Roll of two. Let's see. 
You are stupefied one. You are distraught. So I'm kind of like her next to me. <laughs> the other thing that you notice is with apparently its other action, it swivels its skull head back toward the babe in the crib. And you hear a long breath, a long inward breath. And you see ghostly breath coming out of the baby's mouth mm. and flowing up into the mouth of the skull. Oh. I mean, like, violence is called for, even though I'm clouded. Um, it'll be a minus on intelligence, wisdom, charisma based checks, and DCs, will saving throws, attack rolls as well. So, say the word, last light is, is flying. Um, let's have a initiative. I give myself a minus one because I'm stupefied. Stupid. Wasn't that a spell in Harry Potter? Probably. Probably. When Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> Not Leviosa. <laughs> Leviosa. 30. Uh, you definitely get the drop on it. Okay, so I haven't. Okay, so my are we past the lethargy or my only two actions? Um, you're still under the lethargy. So I have two whole actions. It will be to hunt prey on this thing. Quick draw, hunted shot, and that's all. Wish I still had my magic beans on me. Uh, twenty four to hit. You shoot it. You crank off a gunshot in the nursery. <laughs> At it. Well, that if that isn't an alert, it's like, oh shit, Robin's <laughs> like, shooting that things shouldn't again. Happen. The second with the combined shots is a higher roll, but it's minus five. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. And That's 25. a hit. Also, this is cold iron. Oh. My D8s are not being bad to me right now. Uh, 16 plus 7 is 23 points of cold iron damage. That's two bullets combined into one. 23, you said? Right. Those are my two actions. Blam, blam. The Whisperer's action... The Whisperer turns from the cradle and rushes across the nursery toward you. The nanny screams and runs down the hallway in the other direction. This pathetic little thing reaches out. It, it, it almost looks like a doll's hand, but it could be like a leathery paw or a claw. You're really not sure what its origins are. Its nails do look sharp. And it slashes at you. Ooh, 19 plus 13, 32. That is a hit. Not a crit, though, right? No. And just cold just racks through your body. Thirteen points of damage and make a will save. Okay. The force is still with me. Plus will of fifteen is thirty-three. Wait, that's a save. I'm still under that effect. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Um as it retracts its hand from the strike. You feel as if something inside of you tried to pull up and out, and you were able to swallow it back down. And it swings again with its little leathery claw. 17. 30 minus 4. 26. Only one short, so it 
she's like falling backwards and it just goes off of her uh, sliver of night. Okay. Your action. Oh my god. By the way, those of you Yeah, I heard gunshots. Second yeah, bam, bam. floor landing. Heard heard screams and gunshots. I I am I immediately bolt I've still got Excalibur in my hands. I'm, <laughs> I'm really attached to it right now. That was a moment. Bjorn goes chasing after you. Yeah. That's mine! <laughs> yeah, give my sword back. One that wasn't even there. <laughs> Great warrior. <laughs> yeah. And as he runs, he throws his duster open and unleashes the Yeti. Still uh, That'll so be doing, 90. Uh, band, uh, Blanca. Uh, oh, it's finally my turn. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we were, gotcha. we were on the lower landing. I think we're, landing. yeah, we're all in, uh, yeah. we just rolled new initiative. Uh, initiative? Wasn't, uh, Robin supposed to take care of the babies? Pew, pew. Oh, oh, geez. Run. <laughs> I, I got 90 feet out of that. So, um, uh, yeah, I only moved 25 feet per action. How many actions to get to the top of the stairs? Um, it'll take you one round. These are big ass stairs. Yeah. Uh, two. He's he's keeping pace with you, clanking um, and thundering. Make my way up there, in a silly gesture, draw the Ragnar. <laughs> one shakes his head. <laughs> it's a bad day when your wizard draws there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nothing good comes of that. Um. And Banny, you reach the top of the stairs as well, just a little bit ahead of them. You see that uh, <coughs> you hear a door slam the nursery. further down the hallway, and you see Robin standing in a doorway off to the right. Okay, I Doing hunted, shot, and dead. Uh, yeah, well, you're really you cool. are probably engaged at this point. Something misty and ghosty is. Is on is basically has already attacked me once. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. probably as I as I ran up the stairs, I saw it all happen. It's a little further down. All you see is her back in the. Door. Oh, she's she's facing her. that way. Okay, got it. Okay. Got it. And it's going to take one more action when it's your turn just to reach the nursery. Got it. Hmm. Uh, Robin's turn or no? Robin. Okay. I'm going to <clears throat> attempt a hunted shot on it again. I'm going to attempt deadly. Now I'm not going to bother with headlay. I don't think it has a vital part. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> uh, uh, still under the effect of its... Um, so you're still stupefied one, stupefied. and you're still lethargic one. Copy. So I only have two actions. 27 is my first shot attempt to hit. Uh, you shoot it. That's a relief. The hunted shot number two, probably not. Minus five. No, 15, I'm guessing, is not going to be a hit. So... Just the one bullet then. Nine points of damage. She's she's slower than what she should look like. She's staggering backwards against the thing and firing. Two more shots. Go ahead. She did. So I did oh, uh, right. nine, nine points of damage with the one shot that hit it. Got it. The, the other shot was like a... Hold on a second. It, I mean, it could be worthwhile, right? It is, after all, still a magic weapon. 15. No. Okay. Um, Banny, as you are the first one to the top of the stairs, you see Robin staggering back, coming backwards, pumping bullets into the nursery. The, what the fuck? Because <laughs> shooting th up through the floor wasn't enough. Was it wasn't enough. enough. That's not, you can't confirm a kill then. Yeah, you, you got to have line of sight of all the little babies. 
Then you catch a shadowy glimpse of some kind of a skull and a leathery little claw that reaches out and slashes at Robin. Oh, Robin, that's a match. Oh! I get to die in both realities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my D10s? Where did they go? I'm having a will save, right? 27. Wow. Wow. She's hanging on by a thread. She's thrown back. And a will save, please. Right. Will save. Uh, ain't for shit. Three plus 15 is a 18. You, as it pulls its claw back, you see something ghostly just come up and out of your throat, out of your mouth, and into its hand. Um, you're rather stunned by this, and in the next moment, it races back into the uh, back into the nursery and shimmies under a bed. So I'm lethargic, stupefied, and soulless. Um, I'll fill you in on that in a moment. Okay. Bjorn, you were in time to, or not Bjorn, uh, Banny, you were okay. in time to see it slash Robin and then pull its hand back and whatever ghostly thing came out of your comrade. How's, how does, uh, I'm, I'm going to be hoofing it. Got the sword in my hand that's way too agile for... One action to get to the door. She's I, fully in the hallway now, just reeling. Uh, where'd it go? Are you okay? Under the bed. Her lips move, but not a sound comes out. Never mind. I love that. Uh, uh, Snicker snack. I. She points. She points. So I'm. I'm looking at her. She's not dead. She looks rough. I'm going to charge into the room and do a quick perception in the direction that she was well, the pointing. The first thing you perceive is that the nursery is filled with crying, screeching children. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to deal with that when it comes time. You know, it could just been thunder. Who knows? A lot of you thunder. You do see that there is a bullet hole through the wicker basket side of the cradle, low and toward the top. Is there any noise coming from that basket? It's shuddering. But there's so much crying and screeching going on in here, it's hard to tell. I am not going to focus on that for right now. And I am going to dive into the room and look for, look under the beds. Or or look at the in the direction. So that was a 24? You see um, a small kitchenette playset, <clears throat> the youth bed against one wall, piles of uh, stuffed animals and toys and dolls, bookcases, brightly colored um, paints on the wall and, and letters and numbers. The four-year-old boy is in the youth bed, and he is now sitting up um, with the covers over his head, screaming for for mama. The two-year-old, Abigail, is in the crib at the edge of it, standing. She's screaming for mama. You will perception, please. That is a 26. Um, one of the dolls over in the pile was looking at you, apparently noticed that you were looking at it, and its head snatched back to look at nothing. I'm going to say, I've been told about you. I will deal with you later. <laughs> I will deal with you later. We're going to burn all the dolls. I don't care. Uh, I, I'm looking for in the direction that, uh, I look back at, at Robin 
to see if she starts gesticulating or anything like that. But I'm I'm kind of at a loss as to where to go next. Robin, you saw it go crawl under the youth bed. Just pointing with last light in that direction helplessly. Okay. Uh, I see if I can pick up on that. Do I need another perception? I mean, this is my second round. Getting to the door, getting in, and I've got the sword. I'm ready to move. Yeah, but and you're lighting up the room. It's the only light in here. Bjorn and Blanca, you reach Robin in the hallway. She's holding her pistol. She looks woozy. She looks bad. Yeah. You got to shoot up in that claw is, she, is she bleeding? I believe she is bleeding. I don't know what. Yeah. What? What would you say that attack did? Oh, the claws, right? Yeah. So claw. she's ble- yeah. She's bleeding badly. She got like. There's blood coming out from her uh, chest down to her abdomen. Jeez. Grab her shoulder and just kind of open her like a door and lean her against the outside door. Take a take a moment, and then move inside. I still got the Ragnar. Um, I don't know where it is. Robin was vision. You, what, what, Robin what, was pointing what, over in this direction. I can't tell what it was. So it had to... at the crib. He's got Abigail's face in his giant paw, and he's moving her head back and forth, examining her, opening her mouth. That, she... That's what I see. It's a baby. It's a baby. <laughs> I, uh... It's not a changeling anymore. <laughs> but it's Take the Ragnar, bring it up to my lips. Fire true. And put a true strike on the gun. Okay, which will do what? I get to roll twice to take in the better roll. Oh. Okay, what are you shooting at? The shadowy thing holding the baby. No, no, Bjorn walked up to Abigail. And was was examining Abigail to see if she's a changeling or a human. Yeah, he's... I I point you, you and I gestured under the bed. You just you gestured under the I, bed. I gesture in a direction. Wow. It's like this. Okay. It's over here somewhere, and you got the bi- the boy who's. Yet? What's that? Did I roll a perception yet? Uh, you have no, not, and you do no. need to roll one too. Okay, look look around for something. I'm not going to shoot Bjorn. I'm not going to shoot the baby. <laughs> that might have already happened. We don't know. <laughs> the very I small baby. I don't see shit. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, all right. So if there are no targets, I will... Let's see. I cast one spell, two actions. My last two actions, I shoot anything that is not a friend in this room, if, it, mm. if I see it. Oh, okay. Is that just a general? That's a, or is that's that a an spell? action, a held action. It's a it's a ready to action. If, ready if, to action. If, if that criteria is met, I get to take that as a reaction. Okay. Did you you roll the one on your perception, right? Yes. Everybody looks friendly to you. <laughs> <laughs> when the, it's it's over this next round, if something attacks somebody. But do you have true strike on uh, your Ragnar? Until the end of my well. Actually, it's shit that goes no. right before the end of my round. Really? I thought it. I thought it lasted until you actually attacked with it the works weapon. Into the future ensures your next blow strikes true. The next time you make an attack roll before the end of your turn, okay. roll the attack oh. twice and use the better of the results. Ah, damn it! So it removes poke, 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 and a baby squalling comes out of it. It's alive it, too. In the in the wicker basket. Yeah, the one with alive. the holes in it. Okay, good. Yeah, good man. You you should have babies. Uh, <laughs> I probably do. Uh, <laughs> of all nationalities. <laughs> I've been around. I used to be a cab driver, all over the world. <laughs> Robin, you are pretty horrified at what just happened to you and the fact that your voice is just you have no voice so i know that i just got pushed to the side but she comes back to the doorway clutching at her throat like uh uh 
And yeah, all you can do is wheeze. You can't use any vocal no noise aspects whatsoever. I can see the youth bed that <clears throat> it did crawl under before, right? Oh yeah. She points last light under it with her with la with uh, you know with last light, yeah, with her pistol pointing under the youth bed. If anyone notices, then she's just uh uh Bjorn pulls out a flashlight, crouches, shines it under there. There's nothing under there but a couple of alphabet blocks and a little wooden car. If if it's Robin's initiative still, she's going to take a, a berry from him. <laughs> she goes over and starts digging through his pouch. Exactly. I keep the berries here. <laughs> what do you think these are? I can give you berries. I uh, a balm for your throat. <laughs> I I've still got Excalibur, and I say we need to go to the attic because that was the thing that they call the whisper. I guarantee it. We need to resolve this quick. I look back at. Uh, at uh, Robin and say, are you okay? Uh, she's pawing through. I mean, she looks as if she could fall over dead. She's moving slowly. Robin. She's trying to pull okay. the berries out of the pouch from uh, from uh, Bjorn. Maybe like three. How many berries were you given? Eight. So you find a berry. Don't settle, for, don't settle for just one, but okay. Oh, take two, then. You crush them and you rub them on your gums. This is a nice roll to get when you have a d20 for your hit points. No. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> if I get two, am I able to mash two in my mouth? Or is it like you can only consume one at a time? Try a second one and see what happens. And see what happens. That one's not as exciting. Oh, see, it averages out. Yep. Well, no, that's not averaging. It's still, it's still, still positive. You get 29 hit points back. And no voice still, right? Still no voice. You know, so maybe we should maybe we should be okay with this for now. Maybe we should just go to bed and let Robin Weeze over there in the corner. Grabs Banny <laughs> by the collar, pulls her firm... Pull, sorry, whoa, 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 whoa. Pulls right. him firmly towards her, points to her throat. I know. It's the nanny it's, appears again in the hallway, creeping forward. Oh dear, dear. Are the children alive? The ch children seem to be fine. Can you can you settle them? Wh why are you She's pawing at me, him. Robin? Rob Robin's not like game is full of She go picks up the baby oh. first. Why have no one else come for all this noise? Uh I have a feeling everybody's asleep. We will arouse them. Uh uh, she flinches away from Robin. <laughs> what is going on? Can she's directing no. this to Banny? Sorry, my elbow touched it. She's directing this to Banny, saying, uh, "Like in the no, beginning. no time. This is working. This is kind of working out for me, though." I look at Bjorn. Um. Yeah, she can't this talk. She's, is, is this a bad thing? She shoots daggers at him. With her eyes. <laughs> I look at Blanca. Is, it did, Blanca made it into the room. She's here. Yeah, you're all four in the nursery, and then the nursemaid is calming the children. Uh, it, anything you Bye. can do with with her? I I don't see the creature. I don't know where it is, but Robin I guarantee. Starts reloading. It, it's if anything, it's got to be upstairs. We have to get Robin to the attic. And um, Bjorn both need to make perception checks. Probably too busy trying to reload my gun. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Good luck, Bjorn. Uh, Twenty-three. Actually, <clears throat> Bjorn sees nothing, but what you see is in that pile of dolls and stuffed animals. One of the dolls that's about 12 inches tall, looks like a rag doll, 
is dressed as a like a, a a court nobleman it starts shimmying down inside the stuffed animals until it can't be seen anymore mm. um can i just go ahead and charge over to the dolls and start tossing them aside to get to the most noble sure Uh, and ang angrily, like you know, just I, like, I saw the doll. Dust animals. As soon as you, as soon as you start flinging the dolls, like you know, that's probably a good idea. I go over and I step on a doll and I <laughs> just start stabbing each one. My raggedy Ann. <laughs> you start stabbing dolls <laughs> with Deep. X fucking caliber. <laughs> <Deep stabbing. laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that'll make the children feel better about it. Banny's gotta feel something. Oh, something. Yeah. He's only hit an illusory creature. He's gotta have a moment. In the nursery. In the nursery, In killing the dolls. Grabbing dolls. With Excalibur. <laughs> uh, um, Robin, you quickly uncover the... Uh, the doll that's dressed like a, a court nobleman. Um, it has glass eyes, but they're they're white and milky, so it's a little <laughs> little off putting, a little distracting. Um, but as you uncover it, it rears back and in Cornish says, "Please don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! I've done nothing to you." Pick it up by the scruff. Pick it up by the scruff. You get it exactly right. Um, I can't talk, so I simply like put it in front of Banny with Excalibur. No, don't <laughs> run me through with that. Why do you want to hurt me? I've done you know what? To Keep digging. I'm gonna go talk to a friend. I'm gonna I lean. Wasn't the one. <laughs> I wasn't the one shooting guns around the children. Shut up. Push push it against his fake no, temple. Da, 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 da. No, this is that's overkill. Let me <laughs> let me consult somebody real quick. I'll deal with this. Keep going through that because I saw a few. I saw a few move. And Bixby said that there's more. And that's who I'm gonna go talk to right now. <laughs> As you're walking through the third floor hallway with the doll it kind of turns and looks at you and says you might want to be letting me down oh and shit it says it very softly uh hey somebody watch me do i have to save because it feels like a save coming <laughs> <laughs> he's he's Gonna try and do something. Blanca, I probably need your eyes. Move in close proximity. He's holding a doll. It looks just like a doll. Nothing special. No, it's I'm talking. A doll. I, I keep, I, I say, it's talking. It's talking to me. I need to go talk to Bixby about this. Wake up. Pay attention. I command him. To try to release him from any affliction that might be holding him. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a twenty. You suck. Oh, but I don't know if if I, I should. A twenty. No. He never saved again. Twenty and it's a yeah. thirty-five total. Yeah. <laughs> but that should probably apply to this thing too. I have no sway over you. <laughs> One target. I I hold I say you hold it. <laughs> I give it to you. She hands me a doll, or he hands me a doll. He hands you a doll. Careful. And I walk over to the suit of armor. You, you got it. Told the suit of armor. You're holding the doll. <sighs> Robin, meanwhile, is tearing through the other dolls. You are ripping through the other dolls. Bjorn is standing there with his arms crossed, frowning, 
<laughs> just doesn't know what the hell any of you are doing. I, I, blocking direction. Uh, Excalibur is leaning against the doorway or the wall exiting the the nursery. Just so you know. Kunk, kunk. I mean, I'm still. Stupid. For fuck's sake. My thoughts are clouded until <laughs> somebody tells me otherwise, so I'm still going to be stupefied. Blanca, you're holding the, the doll. Which way is it facing? Is it facing you or facing Banny? So currently it's facing away, but that feels awkward. <laughs> Spin it around. Before you can turn the doll, oh. the head rotates around backwards and looks at you. <laughs> And in perfect cornice, it says, Lost warning, dearie. Put me down. Using telekinetic projectile, I grant his wish. Let's do an initiative, <laughs> uh, initiative, please. Initiative, if you will. Come on. 24. Uh, he's first by a long shot. Um, 13. Am, am I like. 10, 15 feet away when this happens. Yeah, you're right. You're right all the way down by the armor. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that, that's a little... Oh, because you were getting Bixby. I was going to go talk to Bixby and say, which one is the bad one? The one I'm holding, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> well, the one I gave you. I thought we were a little further down the hall by that time. when a, I... um, Coming from one of its glass eyes is a utterly cold ray of darkness tinged with unholy energy that strikes you. Um, targets one creature. What kind of save is this? What kind of save is this? Oh, it's a ra- it's a ranged attack, so it's making it's, an attack. Yeah, there's no there's no save. It's a two hit. And is it against your armor class or against your armor class? Your AC. Yep. If we all get taken out by Chucky after we have saved the world, it's gonna be really sad. <laughs> This is just um, one of many things that need to be burned. <laughs> Whatever. I'm stupefied and lethargic. <laughs> Blanca, you must flinch because the ray goes across and past your shoulder and does not strike you. Mm. Your action. You little shit. <laughs> <laughs> um... I didn't believe Banny was dealing with reality when I took this thing from his hand. Now that it's spun around and turned its venom on me, I'm clearly holding some kind of magical creature. I was going to throw him with a spell, but he is no longer an unattended object, so I can't throw him. I will release him into the sky and hit him with a lightning bolt. <laughs> Just throw him up and then cook him. Yeah. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> this is gonna hurt me almost as much as it's gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eighteen. Twenty. Carry the four. four. Seven, uh, eight. Did you did you roll to hit first? 35. I guess you don't have to roll to hit. He has to roll a reflex save. A save. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 35 wow. incoming damage. While flying in the air. <laughs> reflex. <laughs> 27. Whoa! Um, that should oh. save. He yeah. needed a 26. Yeah. I did not disrupt him in any meaningful way. Minus two for being in the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't it half damage? Wait, 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 wait. Does he take half damage? Yeah, yeah I'll take half damage. damage. What, okay. if, and what, what did you roll? Uh, 12, 20, 
36. Uh, 35. 35, so 17. I should have used an athletics. Oh, damn it. You should have used athletics? What? You crank off a uh, lightning bolt in the hallway. Banny, it scares the living shit out of you because it oh. happens behind you. Yeah, it scares me outside in the hallway too, Keith. Yeah. Keith and just you have no voice to scream. Bjorn comes bursting out into the hallway. What, what the, the blue hell is going on? It's Robin just... responds as well. I flip around as soon as it happens and I see Blanca going <laughs> or I see her doing this to the sky and having Blanca scorch marks. Threw the doll in the air cooked it it lands uh do i get an initiative yep (laughs) roll it oh everyone danced oh that could have been so much better uh that's a 23 i have only a 24 no i'm lethargic i'm also 23 the same dexterity seven points Oh. Blanca, what's your what's your uh, perception or your uh, initiative? Initiative is a seventeen. We're not doing all that hot right now. Um, Banny, what do we do after dexterity? Because we have the same dex. Oh, uh, twenty-three. I don't know. You just. I. I'm. Mm. I have no idea. We can act yeah. simultaneously. How about this? How about this? I'm lethargic, so you go first. Well, back to the top of the order is Bjorn. Critter. Oh. Who unleashes the Yeti and what? at about a range of 15 feet fires the howitzer <laughs> on the third floor <laughs> at the doll. I am right down the hallway from that. I... <laughs> Dude. And it goes off essentially next to Robin Blanc. and Blanca. Yeah. Pressure wave. Yeah. We've done this turn before. To jelly. <laughs> what? Turn to jelly. We turn to jelly. <laughs> yeah. A small nuclear device goes off next to you. What do you do? He rolls a 31 and hits the doll. That's not going to be much. Squirt. I don't think anything... Squirty will come out of it. <clears throat> I'm not even going to roll all the ridiculous damage. It blows the doll apart. And also creates... And a- you see something green arc through the air, land at the carpet, and bounce toward you. It looks like a gem. Eh, Imagine if you cut a golf ball in half. That's about the size of it. Looks like an emerald, but you're not sure. It's a pretty good size, and it comes to a stop close to you. I look. Uh, I need something hard. I'm gonna take the butt of my gun and just crush whatever that is. Okay. So you would have expected with bullets and electricity, the Yeti, it's a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah. Wakes Um, up the whole house at this point. You would expect. And we'll find out if it does. Same bat channel next week. (laughs) Yeah! (laughs) We got a silent Robin. We've got a... Stupefied and lethargic, too. Stupefied and lethargic and Silent Robin. But not eaten. But not not eaten. eaten. And in two chunks. I'm on borrowed time, I know. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, You might want to reset that timer again when you get the chance. You need to talk to fate and say, hey, you know that thing that our friend was talking about? (laughs) Just... Just want to do something to me, don't you? Uh, yeah, I'm just wondering when you crush the jewel, assuming that you get to crush the jewel. Yeah, uh, then that destroys Robin's soul. 
I'm I thinking she, she doomed herself the minute she tempted face. <laughs> <laughs> In either reality, right? I well, don't. I'll just think... blame. I'll just blame the orphanage of the Harrowed God for teaching me such sacrilege to the universe. Yeah. I don't think fate, those. Fate is down there right now, tying Rob and String back together, going fucking jabberwock. <laughs> 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 like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> when are they just gonna stay cut? <laughs> it's gonna have like you locked up again. Oh, yep. Yeah. You did. Oh, <sighs> well, Keith God is damn it. Meta, Thank you. Cation, cation, cation. <laughs> Taking effect. That was, that was a lot of fun, guys. That Thank was you. a ton of fun, John. And Thank staying you. up all late for an overnighter. Yep. All right. I am uh, off to sleep and back up at it in four and a half hours. So. Oh, my God. Thank you. You See are a time. machine. Thank you so much. <laughs> my pleasure. It's later here than it is there. Yes. Yes, Just it is. Little, quite a bit. Little. Two right, hours. Guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sweet Chivas. Well, that wasn't as bad as we thought. What are you talking about? <laughs> you ain't dead. You ain't dead. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, you I was. He, he felt it. He felt it. There was a there was a moment there where the icy grip bad. literally cheated death. Oh, and I would, I was, I'm just thinking to myself, I did this. I'm going to have to wrestle the stupid vest from Bjorn that has all the grenades on it and go and get myself eaten and just pull all the pins. <laughs> yeah. So but yeah, we got a witness though. Yes. Robin, I call, I call me Lola watched your whole demise. Incident. Yeah. You were. Oh. Yeah. yeah, chomp, chomp, Yeah, but it chomp. wasn't like a it wasn't like a uh, awesome Brom death at the mouth of a dragon, like shooting him as he went down. It was. Oh, I did. Sh- bra. That I was did a good shoot. death. That was a good death. Um, I did shoot it, but I'm sure it probably still had like a thousand five hundred and sixty hit points left. You know. Yeah, that was a battery of hit points. Yeah, I I just think. Yeah, that the sword. You needed to have the twenty to to knock that thing off. And apparently, so. that blade is like insane when it comes to the vorpal nature of it. When you roll the crit, yeah. yeah. And I just and I, here I just just want to just want to touch that. I just want to feel that moment. I can't when roll I a first, twenty to save my life. When I first started playing D anD D, that. Vorpal sword was like the end all be all of the every dungeon crawl. Yep. <laughs> but it was also your death now. If yep. any game master ever gave you gave something you. that power, you were dead in the next dungeon. It didn't matter who was running it. Yeah. <laughs> can't have it exist for long. Yeah, can't <laughs> leave that in your hands. Nope. You cannot handle the power. Exactly. So <laughs> let's see how long John lets Excalibur roll. Oh no! It, it's we're going gonna to the Lady of the Lake, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a conversation with the Colonel, especially. I mean, everything woke up. Everything woke up as soon as the fairy presence seemed to be withdraw. Yeah, yeah. It's like everything just went, you know, just went off. That is, that is a really interesting thing, though, because you know who could dispel the nymph's magic on Lyle. The nymph, we threaten her with her life and say, hey, you can survive this. You can be outside of the scope of your mother's power. Mother, I don't know exactly how that works. Sure. Right. But you can't play this game here and let and either give her egress and say, be somewhere else, or we. Well, the thing is, though, too, and of course, you, you know, I'm sure that you care about Lyle. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, like the fair Derg was the exchange for the nymph. Well, we destroyed the fair Derg thanks to Blanca. Nope. 
the fair Derek was Constance's trouble. The nymph is uh, is the requirement to release. What was it? It wasn't to release. Derek. It wasn't to release Lyle. Kill oh, it her. was. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Kill the fair Derg. So kill we kill her the nymph f- daughter, and the fair Derg stops coming. Yes. Yes. So I mean, like champion Maddox and the fair Derg are down. So the we nymph- did do better than I thought. Well, the slight that Blanca felt earlier when her childhood romance or crush came in out of the weeds with that woman. It was, yeah, it was a, it was the stable. They had a roll in the hay. How do you feel about that now? You do see, oh, you were enchanted. Yeah, I think she feels the need to make sure that when she leaves this place, his memory of her is the strong longing left after mm. right it's like i can imagine growing up her growing up with lyle being her like oh my god she's so dreamy and because she really couldn't share i wonder why his network keeps dropping i don't know or like getting some conflict Say we lost again. you again ah <sighs> I'm getting the weirdest things on my shared. Head. Yeah, I don't. It's know like something it. conflicts for all of like five seconds, and then it comes back. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but trying to tell me something. We we missed that last little bit. What were you saying? Just how uh, shake. She wants to shake off that memory that Lyle had over her, and kind of leave the nugget in him now. Yeah. So he's, he's sure the one he's who's back. chasing. I don't begrudge him for his dalliances, right? This is a magical creature that took him. So freeing him of that bondage would be justice. Yeah. Banny can relate. He was entranced and pulled down into the... Right. Under the hill. Yeah. If my friend Banny can be corrupted... Lyle doesn't stand a chance. But I didn't get laid. See. Well, success, that was off right? Camera. Success. We don't know. That happened off camera. We don't know. <laughs> you woke up and then it's like, oh, how's it going, honey? Hey, should we make a house? Yeah. <laughs> Cut down all these trees. Give me a kiss. <laughs> you, you were giving me a kiss earlier. Why don't you give me a kiss? Yeah. I don't know. This oh. this experience, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna really be thinking what what does Robin, because she does recognize that she pretty much would have, should have died. And I mean, Bjorn killed, whacked off like eight bad guys. <laughs> well, Excalibur. To wait, be fair. just, I can just say how many people that I kill. I don't think I killed a single one. I don't think maybe I killed one. Oh no, I did get one because he moved away and I had a full uh, a, a shot on him. But really, Banny just lived up to his completely useless in battle. Usual. I can soften things up, and I really thought that the Matic was like right next to right. death. I know. You hit him we for 28, and I'm like... softening him up and softening him up so that Bjorn could come... Bjorn could just go over and poop. Just poof, <laughs> poke him with it, and he's like, uh, pop. <laughs> What's this taking you so long? Let's go. Yeah. It's like, I just need to get right here in this range. <laughs> well, he was rolling 20s like crazy, so it's... It's true. Bjorn and his magnificence... Yeah, the twenties did suddenly start rolling, In and thankfully for Bjorn, not for the bad. Guys. Yeah, not for the bad guys. Although the bad guy had a few good hits on mm. both Blanca and myself, but it was mostly Blanca that took the brunt of that. Five hit points left. I mean, that was bad. And you ran right up to Bjorn, and I know what you were going for. It's like, oh, here, have these. You know, throw the pouch at you or something like that. But no, he's like. See ya. I'm going to go kill the thing. He's gone. And then you get attacked by another red cow. <laughs> oh, he, 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 yeah. yeah. That was rough. 
Yeah, I was I was hoping that Bjorn would go here, take these, and then go. But <laughs> and, and the, the the encounter with the whirling dervish followed immediately then by the horror up in the nursery. I should be dying one, but I had two hit points left. But but also the next horror because that those dolls are not the same thing as the as the whisperer. I gotcha. uh, the Bixby said, "Oh, yeah, some of those dolls, they're you know, some of them are kind of innocuous, but some of them are bad, bad." Mm. And we pe- pulled out you pulled out the bad one or yeah, you pulled them out. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have no vocalization. You are just good. It's a good thing my glare is intimidating glare. Just, uh, heavy Robin, breather. You're hired for the next Geico commercial. Even <laughs> <laughs> a caveman could do it. <laughs> cave <in a> cave. <laughs> I guess I'm glad I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. I can never talk again, but at least I'm still alive. Well, doesn't it's, doesn't it, it feel weird to be handed your life back after you just kind of got run through an alternate laundry cycle? Oh, yeah. I mean, it does. I mean, not not in a cheated way, but just simply, yeah, to basically, okay, I died. Well, okay. You know, because you hate that. At least I do. Yeah. That, Yeah. Well, I I was I was absolutely expecting one of us, if not uh, at least all, uh, three of yeah, us, to a die. Couple of us to be out. The, yeah. The burst, the pressure wave that he did at the beginning would have killed yeah. all of us. Killed any one of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we weren't in the the burst radius of that, so that was. So at least you didn't open the box <clears throat> upwards. <laughs> I was like. It's towards the bad guys, right? It'll shoot out that way. And it, t- it did. It did actually shoot out that way. But you were also in that area. You were also... No, I, w- I didn't take any damage from that. That was No, really that was but it was, it was still yeah. right there. It was right next yeah. to you. And I don't know what well, Maddox did, but he, he put a, a signal on you or a flare or something on you that maybe draw, yeah maybe its attention. I, we'll, ne- we'll never know because i don't know if john will remember but yeah i mean like he did cast something on me and so maybe the the role of the d6 was fake to simulate as if it's a random decision because yeah you would think that the guy with the vorpal sword who actually could kill you would actually be who you want to take out and he's right pretty much right under you but instead i'm going to zoom go right in on this woman who's shot me for whatever 18 points of damage yeah well i'll (laughs) say that the the sword protected the wielder it kept the wielder it kept the creature at bay so it didn't want to attack you right yeah and it and it really didn't seem to be able to so i thought oh whoever gets it of course is going to be the protected one and we should all just go and hide well, yeah. while Bjorn works out his angst on whatever is left. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, Robin was too stupid and and not stupid, but I mean, like too, too determined to say, well, if this is the end of the world. Then I might as well go down shooting, you know? So it was like, rather than trying to go off and hide, can you kill it? You know, <laughs> I said, with help, blam, 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 blam. Oh, yeah. Crunch. Crunch, but I, crunch, crunch. Just know that this isn't part of Noctrictor's training. You're not supposed to throw your life away. Uh, no, thanks. But Unless it's the end of the world, right? Yeah, Unless when you, world, when you yeah. are the and you're it, it, the cause of the end of the world. You, you should probably go when the rest of the world goes. Yeah, go down with sure, the ship sure. as the ship goes. I mean, <clears throat> actually, let, let's be clear. Banny killed Robin. You should be able to take that as a hash mark. <laughs> or you could say that Bjorn could have saved Robin if uh, he would have acted well. Instead of reloading the Getty, he is way too enthralled with that thing. Yeah. He loves it too much. And he missed with all three shots. He's, yeah. he's got to put a ring on that gun. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to have... 
he's going to have a piercing in a certain thing, and it's going to have a chain that hooks to that ring. Right. right. I can never fumble or drop this gun. <laughs> but I get a plus one to hit. It's worth it totally. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm glad to be alive. I, I, was, I, I can't been... wait to get away from this manor house. I'm so sick of these damn fairies. They're horrible. They're horrible. I'm excited to have a final drink with Bigsby, and that's about it. Uh, that might be worth it. I just, just want my voice back. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> you only lost it, like, you know, the Forever? last hour. In the last hour. You you won't lose it forever because we're going to go find the, we have to clear out the thing in the attic. The whisper is in the attic and we're going to figure that out. So, we're fine. You'll you'll be fine. Everything will be fine. You can write a on a piece of paper. Tale. Robin, your Never punishment isn't that severe. You speak with your weapons. <laughs> That's not the only way she wants to speak, but okay. <laughs> yeah, all I know is I need that other striking. I need a striking room. That's what I know. Yeah, uh, really. <laughs> I got one for the first time ever. Yeah. And I still can't seem to hit a damn thing. What are you guys, eighth level now? Yeah. Yeah. Eighth level, you get your first magic weapon. What? Yeah. What in the basic rules? Well, striking a room, right? I don't know. Is so, that the case? you got a stingy dungeon master. I know. Well, no, not always. I think that, I mean, like some magic stuff fell out at the group at were we fourth or fifth going through that dungeon crawl? You have yeah. you have armor. Yes. You yes. have last light, and you've had it for at least three, maybe four levels. I feel like, yeah, it's true. So not stingy. I wouldn't say that at all. Yeah, but for everybody, <laughs> how, when was Banny's first weapon? First actual magic weapon? He didn't ask. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he had one till eighth level. Yeah. Yes, seventh. Uh, Seven. Because because right. I put the striking rune on this just recently, but I I have not used. Like the this the Bighorn sixty six is mm -hmm. not it doesn't have anything to it. Uh, just have the cold iron rounds in that. Um, I updated the the Toro so that the Toro has a striking rune and or is it more? Does it have something more? It's, it has to it's be magic. So it's magic with the striking rune. Okay. So plus one to hit and an extra die of damage. You know, I need to I need to update. Uh, my rolling approach because I am missing things left and right. I should have done another 20 points of damage when I rolled that crit. Like doubled up the damage on the damage die. Because I, I rolled five crit. dice and I should have rolled yeah, it rolled six. six. Yeah. And then, so the extra plus four, but I, I was doing plus two on all the dice. So that's 10. I should, well, no, I did do 20, but it would have been a 24. And well, something I used to say in my game group 20 years ago as a way to get them to stop messing with my stuff, I would say, mind your own damage. Yeah. But now I say to you, mind, mind your own, own damage, damage, please. God damn it. <laughs> That's right. Banny has always been very focused on making sure his diplomacy rules are really good. Mm -hmm. I wow. know what all the pluses are for that. I hope it gets them a better price on gun training. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, and high no. caliber being plus two damage per die. Oh, well, okay, that was on it. A that critical was the hit that you've hunted prey. This is everything. So it's you hunted the prey. You're the ranger. It's plus two damage per die on the critical. Yeah. So that's quite huge with. Six dice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of things that I missed in that last round, and I and I may have done something with it. What did I roll that against? Was that... That wasn't Matic. It was... Uh, that was the Fair Derek. Oh, yeah? 
But I thought it was awesome. Okay, so again, Blanca comes through huge, right? She's I, lightning is already an enormous attack. Just it backlashes on you, of course. But the fact that you did that dimension door to put yourself in that and therefore displace her out of the place of danger <laughs> and you got the critical success i love then how john played that to say that was a critical success so actually now you have reversed the roles and now he's the one at your mercy yeah. ah that was great that was yeah. great blanca gets true cinematic moment like that like what do you do with that it's like oh you're pure evil bah! <laughs> <laughs> i know but, I knew her first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a middle school warfare, right? I, yes. I've known her since third grade. You're yeah, nobody. She's yeah, she's exactly. my friend. She's, she's my friend. kindergarten, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so true. That was great. Good times. Uh, and and you, didn't, you didn't kill a baby, Robin. So that's, that's that it. was that was good. I actually that would have been really, really just an extra and like a dagger in the heart. Yeah. Okay. Considering how many daggers there were already in all of our hearts, yeah, that would <laughs> that would have been bad news. I'm just glad that Bjorn was like, this one seems to be working. This one poke, seems poke, to be working. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little stinky, but this one's okay too. <laughs> yeah. The brown stuff is okay, just not the red, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. The madness. But yeah, why are they awake, but every other occupant of the entire mansion is asleep? The, the, the Fair Derek probably pooped everybody to sleep. Hmm. Because it was it was doing the lethargy thing, and you had the you know sleeping for a very very long time, and he was they were. I'm curious if anybody did like totally fail, and if there's a, a cure for it. Yeah. Slapping Sweet somebody. Beauty. Are you a prince? <laughs> 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 What do you no. want to do? Yeah. Bl Blanca and I need to go and find that uh, uh, werewolf prince guy. Yeah, that's what we need. Uh, yeah. Ah. yeah. No. No. <laughs> Bristling sure, with chest hair. I'm sure occasionally the two of you will be out at the market picking up groceries for the you know a couple of days. You look over each other. See some guy who's really hairy and just like look away from each other and like I don't want to. Oh, no, no, that didn't happen. We're not talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> but Blanc is the troublemaker, so she probably made a joke about it at least once, and then she regretted it. Yeah, man, she opens she, her mouth. She's like, "Damn it, nope, not talking about that." <laughs> I said I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, all right. Have a good night, gentlemen. Yeah, it's that time. It good is. night. Good night, Good folks. Night. Good for surviving. <laughs> Most of us. <laughs> Most of us. The second Working time. On. Second yeah. time. Second time we worked. <laughs> oh. Later. Bye. Bye. Doesn't seem to work. And we're done. Thank you all for attending. Have a good night. <laughs>